What is going on guys and girls, my name is for today we've got a few of the 20k subscribers Q&A video, as you can see it is face cam, it's the whole shebang. I just want to say a massive thanks to everybody who has subscribed to me and supported my videos in the last 20,000 subs, it means a hell of a lot to me, so without further ado let's get into the questions. Okay so the first two questions are basically asking me why I started YouTube and pretty much it was because I... I used to do Call of Duty, I used to be like Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, and I used to do random throwing knives and stuff like that. I also used to watch a guy called XCal, I thought his videos were pretty decent, so he's actually on a new channel now, I was trying to find him the other day and I couldn't find his channel, so yeah, he uh, he's he's on a completely new channel now, he's on XCal Plays or something like that, but he's basically the reason why I started, I saw him doing some cool videos and I wanted to get in on the act. Next question guys, basically what is the best player you've ever had in a pack? Um, well, last year I got Team of the Season Matter in a pack, which was fantastic. Unfortunately, there's no there's no video for that, but I have got Legend this year, and I have got Team of the Year in Yester this year, so some very lucky packs. I've never packed Ronaldo, and I've never packed Messi, so that's what I'm hoping for next time. Fourth question. You said that you're part Dutch. How so? My great-granddad is Dutch. He came over here during the time of the Second World War. He came over here. He um, moved to, I think he moved to around Nottingham, but we've eventually moved up to where I live now. I also have another great-granddad who is Polish, and I have a great-nana who is Irish. And also, are you planning to meet up with your subscribers? Um, I would love to, but nobody actually lives near me. I go to Hull a couple of times. I've got a few subscribers from there. and. I've always wanted to meet up with them, but it's never really happened because they've always been at school or college or something, so I would love to do so. I am going to EGX, so if you are subscribed to me and you're going to EGX, you will see me there. What do you and your girlfriend do together? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> no, seriously though, we do all sorts. We go to cinema, um, we just hang around because we live together, so we just hang around and watch TV. We both play on, um, when I had a 360, we played on the Lego Xbox games. They were, that was pretty cool, it was pretty fun. Uh, that's my phone going off. Um, but yeah, we're doing all sorts of variety. We go to cinema quite a lot. I mean, we go for weekends away. Uh, it was our anniversary last weekend. We went away and we work together as well. So we pretty much do everything together. <laughs> Next question. What is the nicest ground you've been to for design and how it looks? And also atmosphere. Well, I actually went to Old Trafford on Roy Keane's testimonial match. He played half the match for Manchester United, half the match for Celtic. It was a great game. The it was I think I think it ended one one. Ronaldo was there, which was absolutely amazing. Van der Sar was there. I got to see some absolute legends. So that's definitely the best game I've been to. Um, ground wise, obviously Old Trafford is one of the best in the country. And atmosphere, it was actually really good because it was a testimonial match. Everybody seemed to get along with each other. Those Celtic fans mixing in with the United fans, and I really enjoyed it. It was a great day out. Next question: Where do you think Liverpool will finish this year? And do you think they're title challengers? Um, to be honest. The way they're going at the minute, as long as they keep scoring more goals than they concede, which is obvious, then I can't see why not. They put in a good, a good display at the weekend. They kept a clean sheet, so I, I definitely think they're up. Title challenges, I don't know, but they're definitely challenges for Europe, which is an improvement from last year. I think they could get top four. I genuinely do. That's hard to say, being a United fan, but I. I genuinely think they can. They've got enough quality in the team to do so. But do they have enough depth? I don't know. As soon as Sturridge or Suarez gets injured, they have to play Igo Aspas, and I don't really rate him much, to be honest. Um, I think if they had somebody else, somebody like Hernandez, you know, like a third striker that can score goals. Aspas, I know he can maybe score one or two, but I don't really rate him enough. Defence-wise, they're okay. Aga's back now as well, so that's going to be good for them. Anyway, next question. What's the best football match you've been to? My favourite ever football match that I've been to. Scunthorpe United away at Nottingham Forest. We smashed them 4-0. We had the likes of Billy Sharp. We had Cleveland Taylor. I don't know if any of you know who he is, but these are definitely the lower league kind of players. Uh, Ian Morris as well. I think he got a goal. And we also had Andy Keogh at that time as well. We won the league that year, I think. So that was very good. Where do you think YouTube will take you in the future? Honestly, I have no idea, to be honest. As long as I'm just... For me, YouTube is just... A hobby really it's, it's something that I really like doing I like interacting with the subscribers I like commenting back to you guys Twitter that's all to do with YouTube as well I tweet you guys all the time you tweet me for me it's just it's just something that I really enjoy and I don't aim to get a job out of it it's just something that I really like doing and I'm gonna carry on enjoying it for quite a long time I should think next question what is your favorite football club and why oh, probably going to have to be Manchester United, I've supported them since I was a little kid. I've actually got a football kit, which is 
like a fraction of the size I am now. It's so tiny. It's like that big um, from when I was younger. It's um, and, uh, the football kit that looked like, do you know when you get a fuzzy TV screen and it's black and white all over? It reminded me of that for some reason. I don't know why. It's got a sharp across it. And I don't know. I've just supported them ever since then. So I guess that's kind of why my dad brought me into supporting them. So, you know, I'm not like one of these United fans that have only just started to support them during their years of success. Like, it's for as long as I've been alive, I've pretty much supported them. So, yeah, that's why. Glad you had a good weekend, mate. It's not about when I went away with Lizzie. And then, do you play any other games apart from FIFA? Football Manager, I'm addicted to. I absolutely love Football Manager. And um, I've actually bought COD recently. COD Ghosts. Call of Duty Ghosts. I'm not quite as good as I used to I used to be. I used to play COD a lot and I used to get really good games on it. Now I'm really happy if I can just get more kills than deaths because I'm not very good anymore. <laughs> Why did you start playing FIFA? I've always loved football. Like Since I was a little kid, I've always played football. I may not look like I play football now, but I do still play at the weekends. Uh, well, during the weekdays, Thursday nights, five aside. So I don't know, I just always loved football. So FIFA was going to naturally be the main game I play. I remember the first FIFA I had, I had Edgar Davids, Ryan Giggs and Brazilian Ronaldo on the front of it, I think, a very long time ago now. I think it was M3, could have just been one or the other. It definitely had Edgar Davids on though. So yeah, that's why. What is your biggest goal on YouTube? I think we've already said something about that actually. I'm, I'm not really aiming to get anywhere. I did say actually, if I get 50k, I don't think it's going to happen. A lot of you guys have said that it definitely will. I'm at 20k now, so we're nearly halfway. I actually said that I'll get a tattoo of my logo on me somewhere. I don't know where it's going. It's not going anywhere visible, I can tell you that for free. So it may have to be on the backside. But yeah, 50, 50k I'm going to get a tattoo, so that's probably my goal. Um, Can you do... I'm going to guess that means... Can you do a video with your girlfriend one time? Maybe. I don't know. You're going to have to talk her into that. I don't think she wants to, because... You take it takes a lot of confidence, to kind of put your face and your personality on the internet, and a lot of people can criticize you for that. But I would love to do one with her sometime. It just depends on whether she would like to or not. Next one, eat a chicken. I don't have a chicken. I don't have one to eat, so I can't. I did eat some chicken earlier. I had some chicken satays. That might count. I've already done that. It's not on the video though. You don't want to see me eating anyway, especially if it's a live chicken. That 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 shit be wrong. Uh, what university are you at and how long have you been doing YouTube? I've been doing YouTube for about the same time as I've been at university, so that's two years. And I'm at the University of Lincoln studying computing. So, um, stuff like... It's hard to describe because at the first two years it was more server side, so that's coding and stuff. Now I'm getting more into the business side of it, so it's really boring to be honest with you. I don't know why the hell I'm doing it, but it's something to do and I'm okay at it, so... Which team do you support on the World Cup? Well, I am English, so it's going to have to be England. If England get knocked out, it's going to have to be the Netherlands. And if the Netherlands get knocked out, it's going to be any underdog that's going because I don't want, I don't want the bigger teams to win it if England and Holland aren't going to win it. So it's definitely them two. They're they're the ones closest to my heart. And do you know what? Actually, I'd like Belgium to win it because I I really think Belgium have got a good chance of winning it. They've got some great players, although. A lot of the other teams have as well, so I, I can't predict it, but I definitely want England or the Netherlands to win. Why does authoritarianism tend to persist in the Middle East? I don't know. I don't even know what that is. Um, I'm, Google it. Google it. I'm sure Google's got an answer for everything. I don't. I'm not like this database of knowledge. I don't know this kind of stuff. Sorry. <laughs> Do you like unicorns? Yeah. I suppose, who doesn't like unicorns? I don't know why I would, but yeah, I guess. That's a, that's a weird question. <laughs> what is your favourite day of the week? Mondays, because that's the day where I get to pretty much relax all day. Or Sundays, because Sundays I finish work at 7 in the morning. So I've been working 7 hours of the day technically, but for the rest of the day, I get to sleep, I get to relax, I get to watch football. That's perfect for me. I can maybe sometimes treat myself to like a beer or something as well, so Sundays are definitely the best day. Um, have you got plans to marry your girlfriend? That's a little bit personal. But I did say you could ask personal questions. Not at the meantime. We've got a couple of other things we need to get sorted first. Um, like get our own house and stuff like that. But maybe in the future. Maybe. If she's lucky. We're up to the 24th question. I think this is the last one now. How many subscribers do you hope to have at the end of the year? Well, I think maybe if if maybe if I hit 30k or 35k, I'd be amazed at that. 30k would be amazing. So I'm going to aim for 30. Definitely. 
and that was the last question guys so I hope you have enjoyed this video um, I forgot to mention at the start if you are looking for FIFA coins be sure to check out UT coins for you a link to their website and their discount code is in the description below of course if you're after FIFA coins but that's the end of it guys I've been rambling on for such a long time now I think you guys want to get back to your day and I think so do I so <laughs> I'm gonna leave this here thanks again hugely for 20,000 subscribers absolutely amazing cannot actually believe that I've got it it's such a brilliant amount anyway I'm gonna leave this here now thanks for watching guys I'll see you next time